I just talked to someone who is quitting full-time RV life. If you're thinking about this life or if you're already out here, you will want to watch this video. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. I'm a full-time RVer. I've been on the road for four years traveling the country and you may know I'm on a mission. I'm going to reach 100,000 subscribers sooner if not later. So thank you for helping me reach that goal. I just got off the phone with a friend of mine. She's been on the road for almost as long as me as a solo full-time RVer. And she has some really good reasons for quitting. I didn't try to talk her out of it. And if you're sitting at home and you're watching this and you're thinking about doing full-time RV life, her reasons will probably give you something to think about and maybe you'll decide this life is not for you. I mean, it's not for everyone. If you're already out here on the road, I'm going to offer some solutions to her reasons that may help you stay on the road or at least help you face these challenges better. So her first reason was travel days and the whole travel life, all the packing and unpacking, the driving, it was stressing her out. It was draining her. Well, you know, this life should energize you. If this travel life, if this RV life calls you, it should energize you. And listening to her made me remember five months into my journey, five months as a full-time RVer, I almost quit. I was making the planning hard. I had a spreadsheet. I was researching distances from place to place. I was researching the weather. I was really making it a big job and it was kind of becoming a pain. And, and this is what she was talking about. Well, one of the things that I have done for the last year and a half to make RV life so much easier is I've been using a software. It's an app called RV Trip Wizard. It makes planning really easy. You just put the town in where you want to go and all the campgrounds come up. So if you know you want to go to national parks or state parks or thousand trails or KOAs, you can sort and only see the campgrounds that you want to go to. Plus, when you click on the campgrounds, photos come up and reviews so you can check out the campground in more detail and you see the weather right there. So this trip planner allows you to put in the size of your rig, how tall you are, so you actually get route planning too. So as you add a campground to your route, you can see how long it's going to take to go from place to place and how many miles. And it really just makes it so easy. Now, if you're interested in RV Trip Wizard, don't pay full price. I do have a 25% off for you and there's a free seven day trial. I think that maybe she was traveling too frequently. This is a common mistake. If she had just slowed down and changed the balance so it was more time in campgrounds and less time traveling, maybe she would have enjoyed it more. The next thing that she talked about was too much drama. She's like, oh my gosh, there's always repairs, there's always something, and it just was just wearing her down. Our campers are a rolling earthquake every time we move and repairs happen more frequently than at home. And not only that, if something goes wrong in your house, you probably have a list of people to call and it's not as urgent. There can be things that happen with your camper while you're on the road that need to be fixed right then. Maybe you can't travel. It might need to get towed in. It could be quite serious. You could also be in a campground and have something broken and now you've got to find someone to come in and help you or possibly take it to a dealer. So there's this saying that people say in RV life and they say, you need to be handy. Either you become handy or you go broke. I mean, it really helps to be hands-on and to be able to fix stuff so that you're not stressing out about trying to find help to come into you or to take your camper to this help. So one solution to that, of course, is you could take an RV tech course so you could learn how to fix your RV. And another solution would be, again, to travel less frequently. It's the travel that can add the stress to the repairs and actually cause more repairs. The next reason she gave was financial. She was like, I can't afford this life. It's taking too much money. And I think I just don't talk about this enough. I use Thousand Trails. This is a campground membership that saves me so much money. There's 82 campgrounds across the nation. It works like a country club. You pay a, a kind of a big amount up front, 
after I, you know, paid that 4,300, now it's just 670 a year. I've had thousand trails now for three years. But here's the thing, the longer you use it, the cheaper it becomes. I can spend 365 nights a year in thousand trails and it works out to $2 a night, actually less than that. So less than $60 a month. Many of these campgrounds are resorts. They have a pool, a lodge, pickleball, tennis. They're on a lake or a river. They have water sports. There's so many things to do. So you want to check it out. They're not all resorts, but many of them are. I would recommend that if you want to know more, you either call Thousand Trails directly and talk to Eric Benson. Tell him that I sent you. He has some special deals going on and he can really help you with some perks and you can use your membership right away. Or you can go to the secondary market and call Kimberly at Campground Membership Outlet and she will tell you what there is in the used market. Tell her that I sent you and just check it out. If you want to do full-time RV life, save money and stay in campgrounds, there is no better deal than Thousand Trails. The next thing my friend said was that she was homesick. She missed her hometown. She missed her community. She would get on Facebook and she would see her friends eating out at her favorite restaurant and she would see parties that she was missing and gatherings and all kinds of celebrations that she wasn't there for. Well, I think there's several ways that you can handle this to make it a little better. Number one, think about your hometown and the weather. There probably is a sweet spot where you can visit it for two or three or even six months a year and just be back there and enjoy your friends and enjoy that community, reconnect with everyone. Do this every year. Every year, come back for a few months. Now, another solution would be to make your own community. And that's another reason actually why I like Thousand Trails. I have met people in Washington that I had spent time with again in Indiana and again in Florida and again in California. And that's what happens is you make friends that are just like you, they're on the road, and then you get to see them again in another campground. Another solution is to winter in a snowbird campground. That's what I did last winter. It was the same people that come every year. There was a lot of activities. We were doing group bike rides. There was group hikes. There was bingo. There was all kinds of stuff. And it was a really strong community because like I said, it was pretty much the same people coming every year. So think about growing community that way. I will say the longer you're out here, the more friends you'll make. And you may even decide, hey, let's travel together. And I think that's a wonderful way to do this life is to travel with two or three other people, have a caravan, and then you feel connected and you're still living the RV dream. Now, something else my friend said was, it's just not fun anymore. Like I said, I didn't try and talk her out of it, but I would have liked to know what's not fun about it because I had that same feeling. I woke up in a Walmart in my camper van and I was like, I don't like RV life. And then I realized it's not RV life. It was my camper. I was trying to live in a hundred square feet of space. On rainy days, it felt like I was living in an elevator. It was too small. So for me, I just needed a bigger camper and I went and got a 30 foot fifth wheel. It solved a lot of problems because now I had a truck and I could drive out and explore. Or with my camper, I had to break camps before I could get out and see and explore. If you're out here, and it's not feeling fun anymore, how can you make it more fun? Is the rig the problem? Are you maybe not traveling enough? Are you not going to places you wanna go? What about hobbies? Is there something you used to do when you lived in a house that you could do now in your camper? Maybe there's a new hobby that you could take up, like photography or bird watching, all kinds of stuff that you can do online now. Maybe you can take an online class. Really think about how you can bring that joy back. It might not be RV life. You know what they say, wherever you go, there you are. Maybe there's something in your life that even if you went back home, you would still be unhappy. So take some time to look at that and make some improvements to bring more joy to your life because no matter what you're doing, life is short. So you want to live it to the fullest and you want to have as much happiness, as much joy as you can. Now, one thing she didn't talk about, but is a really common reason for people to quit RV life is health issues, either your own or family members. If you're diagnosed with a serious illness where you need some ongoing care, 
well, you might need to quit RV Life so you can get that care. If you have family that needs you because of health issues, that's another reason. And that's why I think it's so important to have an exit plan. In fact, if you're gonna do RV Life, I think you need an entrance plan. So many people just jump into this life and they haven't really explored it. They sell everything, they get out here, and then they're like, uh-oh, this is not for me, or uh-oh, now we have this family emergency and we have to go back home. So for your entrance plan, you should definitely try it out first go out on weekends, go out longer, don't sell your house until you've had lots of RV experience to make sure that it's right for you. And then you need an exit plan because even if you love this life and it's perfect for you, things could happen where you need to get off the road. If you've enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And let me know in the comments why you love RV life or why you might need to get out of RV life. I'd love to hear it. As always, these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing.